Debo Samuel's not going to play. Someone's going to have to step up. And in the wide receiver room, I'm guessing it's going to be the the second year guy, Jawan Jennings. He's a slot guy, but so he may not replace Debo like one for one in the in the formations. But in terms of targets, he got a few in this last game. I think he's going to get more. He seems like he's earning Kyle Shanahan's trust. He seems like he does a lot of the stuff that you know Ross Dwelly and Kendrick Bourne did for this team. The contested catch guy. What do you see from Jawan Jennings, and is he worthy of an increased role in this offense? Jawan Jennings was used exactly how we everyone agreed he should be used when, back when we drafted him. He's big, he's physical, he's a dog of a player, he has the dog mentality. He's not an athlete, but he is a football player. That's that's what it comes down to. He's not particularly athletic, he's not fast, but he has great hands. I think he demonstrated that in that game. Uh, even though it was out of bounds, his ability to go up and snag that ball and reel it in and maintain control while colliding with the ground... Jawan Jennings was used exactly how they should use him for high contact, contested situations. Um, he's able to run routes decently well. I feel like he knows how to use his body to box out defenders. He, to me, he kind of lumbers his routes, but he's crisp with them. But he lumbers yeah. like a tight end. And I think that's really, he's a big body slot kind of guy. He's, he's right. never going to be on the perimeter uh, unless they get some kind of weird mismatch there. But really, you want someone like him using his height, boxing people out. He's also difficult to tackle. So over the middle, he's a guy who can take a thump. I also feel he is expendable. And when I say that, he's not the guy you have to protect. We have right. enough options around that he's not the one we have to protect. So he can get the dirty work done. So I do think he's worthy of more targets. I think Trent Sherfield is as well. And I think with that third down conversion, he also showed that he would be a decent option with perhaps more speed and more downfield capabilities. I think Jennings is a good fit for uh, Garoppolo in the sense that <clears throat> tall guy, long arms, big catch radius, uh, specializes at making contest contested catches over the middle. I mean, Jimmy throws most of his passes over the middle, and when he misses, he tends to miss high. So that's a nice compliment. That was on full display in that game, especially in the first half. That was a miserable start for him. Right. That was bad, Jimmy. It definitely was. Yeah, it was bad, Jimmy, but it was good Juwan Jennings through most of that game. Uh, I like him. It seems like now that Kendrick Bourne is flourishing in New England and maybe looking like someone who was even a bargain for them, someone the Niners probably should have kept, it's given Kyle a little bit of a reason to get the replacement involved. And the replacement is Juwan Jennings. They use him pretty much the exact way they used Bourne in the past. I don't think he's as good as Bourne was, but he's different. He's bigger. And the way he runs after the catch is Bourne can't do it. He's really tough to bring down uh kind of like yes he is yeah and there there there's you can't underestimate the value of a hard runner especially when you have someone like Mitchell running the ground game now he's he's a really smash mouth kind of running back just having that physicality at receiver which Debo does bring he does bring it Ayuk even brings that as well he's hard to bring down but if you have three receivers like this and Juwan Jennings is kind of a bulldog of a receiver I think the physicality of the 49ers offense is starting to reflect Keter yeah, absolutely. It, it always I mean, complimentary De pieces. Yeah, Debo Samuel took on the Kittle persona, jo Jennings too. I think it's what <clears throat> Kyle Shanahan wants. Absolutely. He wants people who are ferocious after the catch, and that's. I mean, I guess with if you again, if you have a quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo who doesn't throw deep, then you need as many guys who are going to fight through tackles as possible, and that's what Jennings does. So, but the, I think with the absence of Debo Samuel, I think they have to get more more touches to Sherfield as well because Jawan Jennings is still not going to replace all the downfield. Uh, threat capabilities and Ayuk should not have to assume that responsibility 100% of the time or they will just blanket him. They will zone him out. But so similar. To, similar. To, to, to unleash Ayuk, Sherfield is the only player I see on this team being complimentary to him without Samuel being out there. But Sibla, Jimmy's not going to throw down the field. I was thinking about this today. Like the where's the explosive element going to come from in this offense without Debo? You know, it's got to be use check. You know, when they go to those like deep throws to use check from that. That's kind of the that's like if it's that's it with Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. That's it. So was for check. me a deep pass on the 49ers is 15 yards. To me, I know that, that really is a deep pass. When I say deep for the 49ers, that's definitely what that I throw mean. that you had to use check in the fourth quarter up the uh, up the seam. That was that was a thing of beauty. So we're gonna Absolutely. that's that's pretty much the mo the extent of what we're gonna see. That's why I think Jennings is gonna be important because Jimmy ain't throwing deep. Like Trent, just clear out. <laughs> Keep, keep and Joel Jennings now. also seems pretty disciplined in the run game as well. So he seems like he he would he understands his assignments. He does not seem like he he shies away from contact or blocking. 
something he has to improve, but I, I feel like he, he has the tools.